And welcome back, everybody. This Hello. is uh, Vincent IBG, and, along and with me. And you're probably wondering what this is. This it's Pac Man. Uh, pretty much Pac Man, but it's <laughs> actually called Mousetrap. Um, this is an Atari game, and the first Atari game on my channel. Yay! Uh, thank you to the Retron 77. Uh, Nate, what are your thoughts on the Retron 77? I love this console. I still have yet to purchase a copy of, or a. 77 for myself, but I really need to get on that because I have about mm, 27 Atari games. And how else would I play them if not for the 77 in a crisp 720? After, also, Vince, as soon as you edit this, you're going to be surprised at how little memory it takes up. Yeah. You're going to laugh. Like the two to the deaths that I was able to salvage because Stampede was corrupted. Uh, I don't know if I told you that. You didn't tell me Stampede was good. Well, we just got to record it again. Yeah, we do have to record it again. Well, next session we'll do it. Or, mm, it depends. Depends on, oh, God, there's a cat there. I it, know. Your mouse, their cats. Um, oh, I knew it was going to come back. <laughs> um, I'm just, I actually played this for a little bit, and I was actually pretty good with it. So, yeah. your object is to get the, uh, technically what they call these are uh, little pieces of cheese. Oh. Um, in each corner there is a dog bone, okay. which um, you can, if you look at the top, you can see I have four dog bones. Yep. Um, you can use those dog bones whenever you want. Okay. Um, you can never get more than four. If you use one, like uh, here, I'll show you. Ruh, ruh, ruh. Oh, and you become ruh, a ruh, dog. Ruh. Yeah. And it runs out super quick, though, so you have to be really careful. And you can just recollect another dog button. Oh, and nice. Back up to four. Oh, that's sweet. If you hold down the button, you can change the map. You can see that the map is generally green, but you can see these like little faded green areas. Yeah. Little green lines. Those are doors. Okay. And you can switch by holding down the dog trigger button. Yeah. So if you just tap it, you turn it into a dog. If you hold it down, you change the map. Nice. So that you can... Either way. And it's the same map every time you're just going for high score. Okay. That so. makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and... <laughs> so it, it's a pretty simple Basic game. game. But... Yep. And you can actually get sucked into this game for, for quite a while. But I just kind of wanted to showcase it because it is why fun. Not? Yeah. It is addictive. Um, and you can you feel good about yourself because you can get high scores. Like That's point. good. So, I'm going to go ahead and see how high I can get, and then we're going to see how high Nate can get. Hopefully pretty dang up there. This looks fun. I've never played this game before, so I have zero experience with it, but it looks pretty straightforward. Well, that one cat is going crazy right in the middle, dude. Look at him. Might want to uh, dog him. Uh, also, the dog's mouth looks like an M. Like when he's barking. Yeah. It looks like an uppercase M. It's weird. There's just, you know, a few more pieces of cheese left. A little bit of cheese. Uh, I took cheesy. a risk. So you yeah. did risk it for the biscuit. The Cheddar Bay Biscuit. See how many I connected it back, Vince. Also, if you guys don't know, there's hardly any audio in this either. I don't know yeah, if that's I just... I don't know. If that's just how the restaurant takes uh, Atari games or what. If it struggles or yeah. if it can't recognize the audio. Yeah. I actually don't know if there's audio with this game. I... I would assume there would be like or something like that. Yep, or I just keep turning it into the Goof Troop soundtrack. Kitty coming after me. But bark, bark. Bow wow. Bow wow wow. Yippee yo, yippee way. Yep, yippee way. Yippee yay is what I meant. I like yippee way. That sounds like a that sounds like a band name. We are Yippee Way! Oh, Still have one more mouse, one though, more dude. Because it really is random on which one comes out first, I mm -hmm. think. Because I've had times where the bottom one comes out first. Yeah. Have, could be just that like your proximity, with your closest proximity to whichever cat is the one that... Yeah. That's, this is an awesome game, though. It looks pretty sweet. It just looks like... Pac-Man with more steps, but at the same time it isn't? It, well, it is Pac-Man in a sense, and I, I really do enjoy Pac-Man, and I can, yes. I can get pretty good on, on it, but this just adds a little bit more versatility. Like, instead of collecting the dots which turn them into ghosts, like, you can choose. Yes. when you, you Like, can, you collect the dots and you can choose when to use them. You can choose when to run away. And even though I don't like that the map is the same every single time, yeah. but you can 
I mean, the versatility of, oh, look, I can just change the map real quick. Like, that exactly. is kind of cool. And do you get points for scaring the cats away as a dog? I don't know. Also, that one cat is stuck. Oh, nope, that oh, he clipped through. There, there he goes. goes. He's ready. I was lucky to yeah. not get him. Ooh. I don't like you guys. You guys go that way. <laughs> yeah, they're all, yeah, go where they're not. That's the best strategy, is to avoid the kitties. Meow mix, meow mix, please deliver. I'm risking it over here. We're walking here. I told you, I'm not afraid. Anymore. I'm gonna go to uh, either my final death or fifteen hundred, because this really can take a while. Like, because you can get the pattern down so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can just dog him. You're yeah. trapping the H. <laughs> yeah, the big H take you out. Mama said, "Big H coming in around." Yeah, it's ten points when you kill a cat. Oh, nice. Yep, now he's stuck. Oh. Nice. Nice job. Nice. Ooh. Jason Statham says. And of course, I hit a thousand points, so I had an extra guy now. Nice. Come back here. That's another good Atari thing: is like the extra guy system. They're usually pretty nice in most of the games, at least the ones I've played on Atari. I don't know. Some Atari games can be really mean. Yeah. There's one game that like you play as the band Journey, and uh, you have to avoid like roadies and explosions and stuff. It's weird. It's a real Atari game. Like I'm that I'm, sounds interesting. It's officially licensed too. I forgot what it's called. What What is the meanest Atari game you've ever played? That is a really good question. Um, that's that is a good question because every game I can think of that I have fond memories of playing on an Atari has been pretty forgiving. So it's stuff like Missile oh, Command. Oh, the mouse again. I didn't uh, thought I was wrong still. All right, change all right. places. So go ahead and hit the reset button, Nate, and uh, give it a go. Okay, give me one second, everybody. Remember, um, so this button right here. Yeah. Uh, is reset is right here. Okay, The forward. bottom. Ready, go. And we're back. So just red button to start it. Go. Oh, wait, I already wasted a doggo. That's fine. I'll get another yeah, one Yeah, that was back. your only one. Well, now I, I got one back. I have one more. Yeah. I gotta get this down. I don't play Atari games all the time. That is really cool, though, how you just change the map up. Oh, God. Okay. We are good. He's chasing you. Okay. It's like you trip him down in the corner. I mean, he can eventually get out, but, like... Yeah. But at the same time, I'm scared. Okay, we're good. Got the uppercase H here. We're just gonna dog it. We're just gonna dog him. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff, ruff. What's the funniest dog bark you've heard? Like a dog, like he's barking, but you're not taking him seriously. Uh, well, it's the funniest bark, but at the same time, it's like the, like, you you feel bad for the dog. Yeah. Is when people clip the vocal cords of their dogs. Oh no! Yeah. And it's oh, and you're just like <laughs> you're that's sad. Yeah. But at the same time, you're like, oh, why the fuck would you do that? Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, if you're annoying, can I clip your vocal cords? Like, <laughs> and a lot of the owners of those dogs are annoying. So. Yeah, it's like, you have you don't have the right to silence a dog like that. Like, Yeah. I just fly over here. Oh, boy. Oh, nice. Gotcha. Hold that shit down. Nice. Let me go up to here. So, it, yeah, you can see, like, from that, you like it really you can really strategize by... Yeah, and it's really good. Map moves I don't and, know if, like, it's because I'm so close to the screen, but I feel like... Uh, you can tell the difference when you're actually, you know, there and looking at the screen that the next one's going to do this. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to either dog it or, or wait for the cat ruff, to leave. Ruff, 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 Ride in. Ruff, 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 ruff. How do I? There you go. Okay. We're good. I like, uh, that was the famous thing to do in the 90s was like the jingle bells, but the cat one. You know the one I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, he clipped through the wall. Yeah, he did. That was weird. I think it was because you switched right when he was coming right when over. he was going, yeah. So. Ruff. Ooh, this, I'm, this I'm, I'm risking the roughs. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. see, it really doesn't yeah. last that long. It no. lasts for like three seconds. No, it doesn't. You're right. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. You trapped a kitty in the H, which means that it's it. two kitties. Ruff, 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 ruff. Arf, arf, arf. I do have to say, you use your uh, your your dog more than I did. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's a clutch. Or no, it, it really is because I'm collecting all those oh, bones and not yeah. using them. Really, just doesn't do me any good. 
Okay. Okay, I can get these. I can get these. You got it. Oh, I think yeah, I was at buddy. the... Oh, no. oh, that was risking. Come on, go. Uh, you still got to play, guys. Uh, that was risky going uh, over the cat really off the Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. I'm having a blast right See, now. See, uh, it gets addictive. It can be addictive. Like Atari games, they don't look... They don't have, oh. like, incredible graphics or enticing gameplay, but they can really be addictive. Yes. Okay, I'm going to run up to this corner, get this bone get over here, and I am not going to shut the door. I'm going to... Oh, God. Ooh! <laughs> Do the cats know? I, there was one game uh, that I played that uh, um, I tried to get all three cats in the age. Really? I, I got two. <laughs> I could not get that like all three cats in the age. It's impossible. It's hard, yeah. Come on down. Over, 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 risky, over. Risky. Oh my god, this is scary. Oh, they're... they're oh, yeah, they're all in this corner. Nice. I wouldn't go for the third. You're, you're no, yeah, I'm not going to risk it. That dog biscuit, pun intended, is going to wear out. Yeah, and I still got four dog biscuits. I don't want to really... You're doing really good. I think you... Oh! Like, right as I say that. We're well, about right. to get another guy as well. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, I thought you died. No. I was trying to time my dog right there. Come on. There we go. Also, how do you hold an Atari joystick? I, I, I hold it the opposite of you do. Yeah. I uh, I move with my right hand and I use the button with my left. Yeah. I feel like that's why the Retron uh, 77 controller is actually pretty good because it is one of the two button ones. Well, it, it's one that you can play right handed or left handed. Yeah. Like, it, it really has that versatility, so I like that. Very true. Um, I do have to say, though, with the Retron 77, uh, I should have done a review of the Retron 77. You can, you can sell. Um, but they give you a super long cord for the controller. That is true. But you have to be right next to the console. Damn it! Oh, yeah, you do. To reset. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Like I hit the button. Oh, my God, that was... Your finger was yeah. on the button? It was on the button. <laughs> well, I was just under a 1,000, guys. So. Yeah. Um, we're not really going to go any further than that uh, on this one, just because the gameplay can be pretty boring for you guys. Uh, what I suggest is, uh, if this kind of interests you, uh, go out and get yourself a uh, mousetrap video game for the Atari. Very fun. I'll um, have to find myself a copy. Yeah, it, it is pretty fun. It can be pretty addictive. A lot like uh, Pac-Man. If you're getting tired of Pac-Man, this can offer a little bit of versatility. Uh, Nate, do you have a rating for this game? Uh, do, is, do we do this on your one-off theaters? I'd say like a 7.5, dude. It's fun. 7.5? I, I gave it a 7. Yeah. I gave it a 7. Uh, it, the, it wasn't bad. Yeah, the kitty cats are pretty evil, though. It, it's good for an Atari game. Yep, very, very like fun. Uh, if it's like if I could find it for like five bucks or less, totally down for you. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this game costs four dollars. Oh my gosh, everybody. You can $4. get it for four dollars. Four dollars. Get you one. So yeah. Um, look forward to uh, future uh, Retron 77 uh, Atari games coming to the, the show here pretty soon. Uh, this is the first one. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the next adventure. Later, Later dudes! dudes.